Microsoft Research Asia is experimenting with a new classroom interaction paradigm based on giving each student in the classroom a mouse. This model is applicable in both developed and developing countries. We call it a mouse on each desk, or MED. Different activities can be done using plain old mice, multiple choice, fill in the blank, puzzles, drawing, and so on. The key is that MED reads PowerPoint files and makes them interactive, so teachers can create their own content and share on the Office Online community. To use MED, you only need some mice, USB hubs, a projector or large TV, and a normal computer. But why would we want to give each child a mouse? How does this teacher stay in control? Where does the content come from? This video shows some of our work to answer those questions. All the videos are taken from MED trials with real teachers and students in a real classroom during a live session. When a session begins, students first choose their desired cursor. Then they choose their names. If two students are sharing a mouse, they could choose two names here. The teacher controls the class using her mouse and keyboard, similar to PowerPoint. She presses a button to activate or deactivate all students at the same time. She presses spacebar to freeze all the cursors to focus their attention on her. She presses up to display the student list. and she presses down to hide it. The student list allows her to scan answers and to activate individual students. The goal is to keep the teacher in the flow. Controls are quick and intuitive. Real-time assessments help keep students engaged. The simplest method is offering questions and asking students to click on the correct answer. When they choose an answer, their cursors disappear one by one. Optionally, a timer appears on screen, which the teacher starts. When time's up, all cursors disappear. But the teacher may want the answer choices to be secret, so nobody can cheat. So, kids refer to their mouse pads to know what button to click. On screen, they will see visual feedback that the computer has recorded their answer. We're also experimenting with mouse gestures as a way of giving feedback. For example, up and down. MED also supports fill in the blank using a shared soft keyboard or keypad. Each student works on their own individual problem with the pressure of being on stage. Here the students have to spell the word assigned to them using a keyboard, for example. After an activity, the teacher right-clicks on an answer to mark it as correct and distribute the points. The kids applaud. A scoreboard can be displayed at any time where the teacher can award stars for top performers. Because MED uses cursors, its flexibility offers massively collaborative tasks that traditional audience response systems can't. One teacher in Thailand had the idea to do jigsaw puzzles. We then experimented with using puzzle pieces that require two students to simultaneously drag items together. This requires negotiation, organization, and teamwork. One teacher had an idea to have kids act as atoms and then quickly form into four molecules and back and forth. On-screen painting is useful in various ways. Here, the kids draw the hands of clocks. The drawing could also be useful, for example, in matching activities. 
Teachers use PowerPoint to create their slides, and MED reads these PowerPoint files and makes them interactive. MED has been run in Beijing, Bangkok, and Bangalore. In March 2007, the multipoint field trials were run using MED for two weeks. In April 2007, a Bangkok school had MED installed and is using it for one month. while Microsoft China deploys it to rural provinces for IT training. For example, how to use mice. In Beijing, MED was used for a teacher to teach a class remotely. MED is still evolving. We continue to tweak the design from observing users and are experimenting using wireless mice. Thanks for your attention.